Oh, I'm telling you, my dancing days keep me in good health. Today's Family Health Matters has us seeing like a pro golfer, thanks to Matthew Rowe of the Arizona College of Optometry, located where? Up in Glendale, Arizona, right next to 59th and Union Hills. A Midwestern University, yes. right? Okay, we want to remind everybody because a lot of folks come here brand new, much as you have from mm -hmm. upstate New York, to find out about all of the educational opportunities and health opportunities there are in the Valley. The importance of vision in sports. That's what you're here to talk about. Yeah, so it's not surprising. Most athletes have phenomenal vision. They tend to have really good visual clarity. They have great contrast sensitivity, but they also have something called quiet eye, which is really good fixation. and be able Quiet to, eye. Yep, it's just keeping the eye right where it needs to. And the best example actually is with golf. Because uh, golfers, if you watch a professional golfer when they're under a lot of pressure, they keep their head down. They don't care what the ball does. They keep looking down. The ball does its thing and they look up about a second or so later. So that's them actually doing that quiet eye example. So I actually have a drill for you uh, that I showcased last year when I was here. And what happens is when you look down at this golf ball, there's actually a coin underneath it. So just have a buddy go around the putting green you're warming up and put a golf ball on top of a coin. None of my buddies have ever been successful enough to have coins, but I'll bring <laughs> one for them. And forgive me, I'm not going to make this putt. But what happens is that you want to what not a bad worry about attitude the, that is. <laughs> You don't want to look at the ball anymore. You want to look to see what coin I have underneath it. Oh. So I'm going to keep looking down. All right. And it's a dime. And as I said, I told you I wasn't going to make it. But it trained me to keep looking right here. And so after I get done with my warm ups, then I'll be able to actually realize what it's like to keep my head down the entire time. But you didn't make the, the, uh, the putt. But you did make the point about looking straight down. And it's one of the things that we automatically don't do, right? Yep. Where on, on the drive, we're always looking up to see where the ball went. Yep, and the moment you go and look far away, you've forgotten about the actual motor of your swing. You go and pull your head, and it just ruins the entire swing now for you. Now, we're talking about not just adult golfers. We're talking about uh, vision value for kids, too. Absolutely. So we work with athletes of all ages. Uh, we've worked as young as 10. We've worked all the way upwards into the 70s. But the one thing that we've really expanded upon recently was we started working with athletes who have suffered a concussion. Because after a concussion, you start to have a lot of visual issues. You can get headaches. You can get blurry vision. You can have something as bad as having double vision. And you never want to see two of something. And so we help do exercises to get them back up to a good level before we can get them back up to their superb level that they were at before. Excuse me, pardon me. I don't, I don't mean to interrupt, but mm -hmm. why do you have a wire hanging out of your glasses, Matthew? So this is actually, these aren't just for style, but these are a brand new piece of equipment that we have. It might look like just regular glasses, yeah. but up in the very top, there's a camera. And this camera looks out into the world, and then behind the camera is another camera that looks at my eyes. And what's happening is that I can actually record exactly what's going on, and I can watch exactly what my eyes are doing, and then I send it to my computer back at our clinic, and I can actually look to see what the eye has done and make sure your eyes are looking exactly where they have to during your sport. Okay, but these, these are available only through professionals like yourself and the people at Midwestern. Yes. Okay, I mean, this is not one of those things where we say to our family optometrist, I want something like Matthew Rowe has. Yeah, it's a very specialized piece of equipment. We're very fortunate that Midwestern was able to uh, obtain one of these, and it has really enhanced what we've done at our clinic. If we contact you, though, at your clinic, does it mean that we can come over for a test and possibly use these? Absolutely. So what you would do is you'd go and call up, schedule an appointment with our uh, coordinator, and you would come in with me. i do a full evaluation. I don't just check for your 2020 vision and see what glasses you need, but I also check the pen, the sport, your eye hand reaction time, how well you can process wow. information. And it all fits in with our clinic's motto of see clearer, react faster, and play smarter. Well, listen, that sounds like an absolute miracle for all of the people out there like myself who are still attempting to play sports. And so we're not I. just talking about golf, though, are we? No, we've worked with golfers. We've worked with hockey players, baseball players, basketball players, tennis ball, pickleball. We've done everything. 
And pickleball? Pickleball as well, yes. Okay, I want to know because it's one of the fastest growing sports, particularly for those of us over 50. Mm -hmm. uh, and it would seem to me that eye-hand coordination would be helped with something like the therapies that you offer. It would be. We can always work with anyone on their recreational level. Our clinic is primarily designed to try to get uh, younger athletes up to the higher levels that they want, but anyone who's interested in being evaluated is more than welcome to stop by. Okay, so when we stop by Midwestern, we're stopping by what neighborhood? Remind everybody. So it's in Glendale, Arizona. It's right off of the 101 and the 59. And we have to call ahead for an appointment? Yes at the Optometric College. Yep, at the Eye Institute. Just uh, tell them, Matthew Rowe, you might mention Pat McMahon too, 